What's up, Freeze Army, and welcome to another episode of Hitman Blood Money walkthrough on the professional mode. My name is Mr. Freeze 2244. This one will be doing a new life. So hopefully, you enjoy this one, and I'll join you back in the gameplay itself. Getting a clearer picture? You had an agent on the inside, and 47 killed him? We've got it on videotape. The incident put us back on 47's tail, which eventually led to his destruction. You actually caught him? We didn't just catch your urban legend. We killed him. I assume you can prove this. I intend to give you incontrovertible evidence. But how? There was a bit player for the mob in a certain witness protection program. He was protected 24-7 by some of the most dedicated professionals we had. 47 came for him anyway. And you killed him? Bring out the car. Wait a second, Jack. Come on. You can't just leave me hanging. Bring the folder. We'll talk on the way. The way where? To your proof. Sending you down to the other end of the state, 47. The target's a gangster by the name of Vinny Sinistra. He's in a witness protection program pending a court appearance later this month. Our client wants to be sure Sinistra doesn't make it to the witness box. Sinistra's also got some hard evidence that can't be allowed to see the light of day. Our client thinks it may be on a bit of microfilm. Ensure that you retrieve it. Sinistra is extremely unstable and hasn't taken well to suburban life. They're having a birthday party for the youngest child on Sunday and this may give you the angle you need to get in. The house is being monitored and protected by the feds, so extreme discretion is required. Tread lightly, 47. So we've got one target for this and we are going to have to take out uh, the... Female who also has the macro chip that we need to retrieve, the macro film. And uh, we are going to do it a traditional way, just like we usually do. So for, from the start, I'm just going to harass this Great guy. Pace, but are you really comfortable in those clothes? <laughs> Always remember that line. Um, so from the start, what we're actually going to do is uh, go and put poison the uh, donuts that are in this truck right here. Who's being dropped off by this delivery guy. We're going to wait for that bodyguard to move out of the way first. Otherwise, he's going to spot us doing this. So it's in our inventory, we're just going to grab the sedative syringe and poison the donuts, just like this. Gonna make sure we put that away, because we don't want to get spotted with that in our hands. I'm going to go over to this nice little truck over here, and open the truck and just drop them on the floor. And Yo, we're just going to keep out of sight. I don't think that's yours. Yeah, he's a little upset that we're uh, interrupting his little uh, thing in there. Fresh donuts. How cool is that? How cool is that, Coldest indeed? What actually FBI? Oh, I know. I've played this mission many times, my friend. So, as you can see, they're clearly eating the donuts, and they're going to get uh, poisoned. They're going to—it's a perfect use of a sedative. Now, in the current Hitman, the sedative has no purpose. I wish they implemented ways for us to actually use it, because it's completely useless in the current in the current Hitman we have right now. It's much more useful in situations like this in Hitman Blood Money. So we're going to steal the videotape once they're knocked out. And we're going to grab the FBI suit. That gives us pretty much free access in the house where we need to go. We don't need to worry about closing that truck for now. But we're going to wait for that bodyguard to move out of the way. This guy is going to take a break here. Uh, we didn't mean to bump in there. But I am going to turn off this electrical box here. Because our target is going to be inside trying to watch the football so uh, he's going to send his guard out to check the fuse box and while he's repairing it that gives us a perfect opportunity to take him out so we're just going to be patient here because he's going to come through this door there we go and the other guard exits the other door to go and fix the fuse box so again we've got a free time with this we haven't got a lot of time alone with the target but You've got just enough time. So we're going to take him out with the fiber wire. He does drop the um, a gun as well, which you want to go ahead and pick that up. 
Yeah, the bull. Bull 48. Alright, so we're just going to drag his body in the closet just over here. Just make sure you do this lot relatively quickly, because he does come back quite quick. I've noticed. So his body won't get discovered in here. It's nice and uh, fine if you leave him there. Now, for the next person, she has the microfilm, so we are going to take her out uh, with an accident kill. Uh, as you know, in Hit My Blood Money, if you cause an accident kill to a non-target, it doesn't affect your score or anything like that. So that's kind of cool. Um, however, she is kind of drunk, and she's going to be stumbling and bumbling around for a lot, of, uh, quite a while. And there's a few ways to get her. I mean, you could um, pour fuel all over the barbecue and set her ablaze. You could poison her drink. However, we're gonna, I'm going to show you a cool way. However, it does take probably the longest. Um, I actually learned it off the Cotty. Uh, he is a, a massive uh, Hitman Blood Money speedrunner. I believe he holds a world record for this game. I'm not completely sure on that fact. But, um, yeah. If you have never heard of him, I'll leave a link to his YouTube channel in the description. Probably the best Hitman Blood Money player in the world. I've seen, I've seen many of his videos on these and it's very, very good. So, uh, this is Corky the Clown. You might recognise him from the current game. Uh, we currently have this disguise in the current game. And it actually is surprisingly accurate. But, uh... Ooh, nice balloon. So we're just going to uh, let this clown entertain us while uh, the woman gets in position for us. <laughs> Corky the clown. Teabag that. So yeah, it does take a while for this woman to uh, stumble inside. What we're actually going to do... <laughs> yeah, she, she's coming inside the room now. So what we're actually going to do is pull out a coin. And there is a way to throw this coin at the skylight. And it is actually going to kill her. For an accident kill. I learnt this straight from the Cotty. I'm not sure if he was the founder of that trick, but uh, yeah, it's kind of cool. I just really wanted to show that off for you guys. Again, it does take a while for it. It's all set up, but I think, I think it's too cool to miss out. So we're just going to wait for it again in the pool. We may have to stay in this position, otherwise we do take damage ourselves. So now she's in the water, we're just going to throw it at the skylight, the glass is going to break, and there we go. Brilliant. Brilliant. This game's been out for years, and I've only learned that like a few months ago. <laughs> it's funny, all these little hidden uh, ways to kill the targets in the game. So props to the first person that found that out. I'm not sure if it was the Cotty, the original um, founder of that, but it's cool anyway, regardless. And uh, that's pretty much it. So once you retrieve the microfilm off her body, um, you can go ahead straight to the exit where we started off, and that is mission complete for a new life. It's a nice and short mission, it's not too complicated, there's many, many, many ways of doing it. Um, I'm going to retrieve my suit, of course, so we don't get any uh, penalties or anything like that. This is prof professional mode, so we don't want to lose out on any extra money. I'm going to close this door just in case as well. And I'm going to head straight to the exit, and we're done. Easy silent assassin for this mission. I think the next mission is the uh, the Mardi Gras mission, if you remember correctly. I'm not too certain on that, but that is the silent assassin for a new life. So we should pop up all the uh, readings now. No witnesses, no covers blown, no bodies found. Accident killed, nice. Silent assassin, there you go. Again, it was very easy, no risks there really. Still zero notoriety. And here is the newspaper. If you want to read that, go ahead and, uh, you know, pan down and pause the video if you want to to read all this newspaper. But that's pretty much going to do it for this video. So hopefully you have enjoyed this video. If you do like the series, make sure you drop a like on the video and support it so I can upload more and give you more motivation to upload these videos. They're not doing too great at the moment. So we'll see how it goes uh, next week or something like that. So yeah, that's pretty much going to do it for this video. So thank you very much for watching, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.